The first thing that we should do is to install river pod and uh, I will go with the flutter river pod and um, I will use uh, the terminal to install it. As you can see right now we don't have our uh, river pod package installed and to do so we have just to type this command here uh, flutter pub add flutter Riverpod, and uh, easily it will install Riverpod with other packages that it needs. So now we are okay. As you can see, it has just added it here. Now uh, let's go into our main. Let's close the pubspec.yaml. Now let's start by looking at our provider. The first thing that we should do is to import our just installed package. Import package. Okay. Okay. Now we are good. So uh, now we are going to look to the first one, the provider, and. Um, we will see uh, how it works. So my provider, provider, so we have different types of provider. This is one of them. This type of provider is a read only provider. And uh, when we call it, we are able to get this information here and to call it we should use a widget called the consumer the reason for that is because we are we are using a stateless widget so since uh, a stateless widget is a widget that it is not able to rebuild itself so um, we should use the consumer widget to get our information so now let's create our consumer builder context as always then we need a special function called watch and then the child that we don't need so uh, every time in flutter when you see this uh, thing here that means that you are not using it yeah probably we could do the same thing here and here we could do like this so since here we are uh, returning a string as you can see with this uh, lambda here we are returning a string so we want a return a string and let's call it data for simplicity and now we are able to use our function watch to watch for um for the information to get this information and uh, let's put inside the name of our provider this one here and now we are able to get our information but uh, in order for the provider to understand where it should get information and um, where it should save them we should uh, wrap uh, uh, all our application with a provider scope so let's do this by in here wrap it widget provider scope Prior part is different than provider and so you don't have to uh, use multi-provider and uh, reference each one of them but you only need to use provider scope it will automatically understand which one you want and which one uh, you would use and uh, it will use them only when needed so it is uh, it works uh, differently than provider so now we will be able to call uh, our provider and then if we return a text a 
as you can see right now we have our value as i said before now even though uh, you have only a provider scope uh, here you can difference uh, you can use uh, more providers so another provider something else so and we will we can use all we always the same watch function another provider let's call this my data is call this another and let's call this more than two let's change this from to column children let's put our text our multiple texts data another one here more than two here format it okay now it's looks a little bit nice let's save uh, let me do a main alignment center okay so as you can see now we have used multiple providers and uh, yeah we have seen the results and without referencing them uh like we would have done with the provider package driver pod uh, you only have to call your provider in uh, with the watch function and you're able to get the data so uh, and and you are not tied to the type so for example if here in another provider we want to return a number we can freely do it here obviously we have to change the type and here to string Now, as you can see right now, uh, we have our data without any problem. So that's it. But for this type of provider, the, the thing is that uh, you can only read it. So you are not able to change uh, the information inside here. So there are some ways that you may need this type of provider instead of another and uh, now we are going to see another type that uh, will let you uh, change uh, the informations inside